Daniel, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm just great, just great. Are you still on your way home? On my way to uh, the project. Oh my gosh. So you're working still? <laughs> yeah, but well, Today we talk to the client and she told us that the uh, owner will come on um, Wednesday. Ooh, that means that's tomorrow. No, no, uh, Wednesday ne on next week. Okay, so you still got time to finish. Yeah. But uh, we are running because I told to the people, well, she uh, actually tell us that the, she will come on Thursday. But I tell the people that we have until Tuesday because uh, we have to run. And mean, uh, meanwhile, fast, uh, well, como es mientras más rápido, uh, the fastest possible? No, as fast as possible. As fast as possible we finish. Uh, there's more uh, earnings or oh, yeah, sure. profit for the company. Yeah, of and course. it will be more calm for us too. Yeah, sure. Well, good luck, Daniel. Perhaps we can talk later. Yeah, hopefully, teacher. Let me know, let me know. Thank you, welcome. Okay, thank you. Hey, Nicolas, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you? I am I'm fine. fine. Actually, I am curious, Nicolas. Since yesterday, I, I am watching behind yourself. What you got there, a lot of numbers? On your back, a su espalda. Uh, yes. I am watching. Yes. Yeah. It, uh, our activity of my son in the oh. mathematics, mathematics oh and gosh. statistics. Statistics. Statistic and mathematics. Oh, really? Uh, what is he studying? In the university, he's studying. Uh, uh, what is? What is correct? Mechatronic. Oh, engineer. Right. Yeah, that's an engineering. Yes. In uh, the next week is the is the the test or the evaluation. Is the evaluation uh, the the last evaluation? Oh, really? Of course. Ah. Of, of course. Uh, for this cycle. For this cycle. Yeah, sure. Yeah, for this semester. Yeah, this semester. Yes. Okay, well, that's nice. And tell me, how far gone is he in the career? How far gone? Is he in the first year, second year, third year? Sorry, teacher, I don't understand you. How far is he gone on the career? This is the question. Look, how far is he gone in the in the career. That means, is he, is your son in the first year, in the second year, in the third year? Está en el primer año, segundo? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, is the, is the second year. 
he is the second year in the university. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So right now he is acquainted. He got the rhythm because the first year is very hard. Uh, yes, it, it, it's, it's similar the second year. Yeah, I, I think the third the third year is is very is very easy. It's very I I think. Yeah, well, my son is also in the second year. My son is in the second year and man, it's terrible. It's heavy, very heavy. Yes, yes. I I, I think I think uh, eso, I think there that I I think that that is is for uh, uh, a partir from uh, uh, I think that is uh, from the third year the the yes. materials how do you say subjects? Subject. The subject are specialists, specialty, special or specialty uh, are of the career. Uh, uh, yes, are the are are the are related to the specialty. That's what you mean. Are related to the specialty relacionadas con yeah your profession okay well interesting thank right. you very much nicolas nice okay you teacher thank always you. interesting talking to you my friend susana hello susana how are you hello teacher good evening yes good evening yesterday we didn't talk too much susana how are you Hi, fine. Thanks, teacher. I, 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 I work. All the way. Oh, working as usual. Yes. Okay, exactly. and how was your no, day? Was it a normal... good day or a bad day? Uh, it's a regular day. A regular day? A regular day. Mm -hmm. and, okay, uh, okay. I I be, I starting I am starting I my oh. I start I start okay. my my period uh, the oh. finish the the month <laughs> oh yeah the closing of the month the that's the right month. Well, let's hope everything comes out okay my, my routine the the all month all two months yeah every month from every month you got the same routine yeah i understand you totally well susana <laughs> welcome to the class nice having you here okay thank you Tisha. walter how are you walter hello teacher good evening Ah, uh, everything's fine. You're okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent, okay. excellent. How was your day? Oh, and day very, very exactly. Uh, I had a lot of work in the morning. A uh, lot of work, and afternoon. And more I had a lot of work. <laughs> In the afternoon, even more work. Yeah, I imagine. This time of the year is hard on the companies, right? Yes, yes. My company is uh, a tempo, temporada, tempo. Season? Oh, okay, season and season tour. Well, but it's good for the company, it's good for you. Yes, yes, teacher. 
for the moment and all the people is very, very, very good. And, and más, más cuando tenemos pago. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Everybody gets happy on payday. Yes. And extra hours. Overtime, really? And you got overtime. Over That's overtime. nice. Yes, That's nice. And all days. And Saturday, uh, overtime. Oh. And yes. Yeah, but and it must be tiring, very tiring, right? Yes. And this week, uh, we had the final. Oh, nice. Yes, teacher. Nice, and nice. Friday is final. That's cool. That's cool. So Friday is going to be a very good day, right? Uh, yes. And all the people and smiling and happy. Yeah, of course. Friday is a happy day for everyone. Thank you, Walter, and welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. William, my friend, how are you? Good evening, Chair. Good evening, Hi, William. Hi, and you. William, last night I asked you to stay after the class and you perhaps didn't, didn't listen to me. Okay, teacher. So tonight, after the class, can you stay 10 minutes? Puede quedarse 10 minutos? Okay, no problem. Perfect, perfect. It's gonna be good. So how are you, William? That's perfect. A good uh, day for you? Yeah, I like days. Uh, always here waiting teacher, to learn a little every day. Yeah, sure. That's the attitude. I mean, every day we learn something new, something good. Yes. Como uh, le uh, explico? Uh, right now, it's uh, in the plan for boy, boy, al día. How do you say? I am up to date. I am up to date in the plan for right now. Yes? Well, let me see. I am checking the platform. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, William, you're doing okay. Pretty well in the platform. Thanks. Yeah, you are on, you finish in section three. That's correct. In section three is due, actually that's due for, let's see, hmm, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, because today we are in 19, right? What do you say, Falcon, please? Still, okay, what do you mean? Dígame la oración. Faltan pocos días. Oh yeah, a few, day, a few days left. What, sir? A few days left. A few days left for finish uh, Como le explico? The, the course. The current account for. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, today is class number 19. Tomorrow we finish section three. And then is the last week. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very, very interesting. So, William, it's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome to the class. Thanks, teacher. No, thanks to you, my friend. Let's see. I still got some time. Um, Ambar, hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening, I'm fine. What about you? Okay. I'm just great. Tell me, tell me, how did it go with your client? Sorry? 
how did it go with your client? Did everything pan out? Um, no, no, actually no, because uh, the client, he, he didn't send me uh, the doc documents, but I hope tomorrow, how do you say, espero que mañana se los mande? Okay, I hope tomorrow he does. I hope tomorrow he does. Okay, well, yeah, let's hope. I mean, we're still on time, right? But we have tiempo. Yes, uh, the moon finished the Saturday. <laughs> on Saturday. On Saturday, sorry. Okay, can you check on the chat the sentence that I that I uh, texted you? I ask you this, did everything pan out? Pan out is an informal way to say tener éxito. Pan out. And this is weird, this is weird, you know, because pan is, uh, es una cacerola in English. And out means afuera, but pan out is informal for succeed. Is like a, it's like a phrase, piece of cake. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, okay. Those are modisms. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it's quite interesting, right? Yes. It's pan out. Yeah, did, it, did everything pan out? And you tell me, oh yeah, everything pan out, cool. Or you tell me, no, nah, it didn't. Oh, let's ah, okay. hope tomorrow you have you get more lucky. Yes, I hope to. <laughs> and you get all the documents you need. Yes, because uh, there are ten cars, and I, I guess, too difficult for the client. Send a lot of documents, a lot of uh, photos. Etc. Yeah, well, let's hope everything goes okay. Thank you very much, Amber, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Well, you know, I'm fine. I'm fine. Tell me, how was your day? I had a busy day because I finished the class, the classes this day. Today, you finished your classes today? That's yes. cool. And, but you finished the exams already, right? Uh, tomorrow it's math exam. Okay, and when do you have to turn in your grades? What did this mean for? Do you understand my question? Okay, my question is this. Look, when do you have to turn in your grades? Okay, when do you have to turn in? Turn in, presentar, entregar. When do you have in your Grades, notas. Ah, it's um, it's Monday. Oh, okay, uh, they uh, are due. They are due on Monday. That's your answer. They are due on Monday. Like this. Look, say it, please. Okay, they are due on Monday. Perfect. Claudia. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I got exams next week. Let me see when. I got Friday. Mine's going to be last. Terrible. Yes, teacher. It's terrible yes. to be the last. Yes, I, I was checking test for tomorrow. Mm. And after that, I need. I need upload the, the notes. Grades. 
Yes. Grades. Grade. Grades quiere decir notas. Ok. Ok. The grades y notes sería como la, las notitas de, de papelito. Yes, exactly. Ok. Ok. Notes means anotaciones. Ok. Well, let's hope everything goes okay because you had a lot of work to do, my dear. Yes, yes, I have a lot, a lot of work. But only, how do you say, solamente es una semana más? Okay, it's just one more week. Yes. Let this look, it's just one more week. Just one more week. Okay. Ooh. Well, thank you, Claudia, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is Marta? Marta, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm good, evening, good. and Marta. you? Oh, no, of course, I know you are good, you're okay, you're perfect. Yes. You're yes. on vacation and traveling. Cool. Yes, teacher. <laughs> it's, it's a very tighter. Oh, really? Where did you go today? Um, today I went to shopping all I day. Went shopping. I went, I went shopping. shopping. I okay, went shopping. Okay, cool. What did you get? All me? day. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, how's the weather? It's you're in Dallas, right? Uh, yeah, we're in October, it's, it's almost a normal. November. It's windy. Gotta be windy. No, teacher, it's it's, it's a normal weather. It's uh, the same the same be El Salvador. Oh, no windy yet. I'm it is a windy a, a little windy. Okay, just give me a second, Marta. Don't leave, don't leave. Okay, teacher. Okay, and you're coming back tomorrow, right, Marta? Yes, teacher, tomorrow. What time are you coming? Uh, 5.45 p.m. Okay, 5.45 p.m. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be here 5.45, 6, 7, 8, around 9. Um, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's hope everything comes out okay. And then, mm -hmm. uh, when do you go back to work? Uh, Thursday. On Thursday, my gosh. Yes. That's gonna be <laughs> like this. Yes, teacher. I hope rest a lot tomorrow at night. Um, Thursday, I am ready for my work. Okay, that's cool. Well, Marta, let's see. Let's hope everything comes out okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see, Janita, you're also the traveler. Hello, Janita, how are you? Hello, teacher. How's everything, Janina? Oh, it's okay, teacher. You know, the same smart story. Shopping. Yeah, shopping. Okay, let's see. 
Now in you, you have about gadgets. Yes, of course. <laughs> I found a handset, but I can't found. Then I have problem with my microphone because it's my old handset. And well, I found a nice gadget for put your cell phone and take in your neck, but you can stay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I know which one. Yeah, rest it, you know. laying down. Laying down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and let me. Uh, I buy uh, some cables for I the. I bought uh, some cables for my laptop to connect the. the battery to the motherboard and about uh, some hard disk. Well, it's not a hard disk, it's a SSD because it's a solid state disk. I know, and, I and I bought a uh, replace, uh, uh, I don't know who, who, what is the name, but it's uh, some stuff for replace um, the hair the hair, the air, air pumps, uh, almohadilla. I don't know how do you say, teacher. Cushions. You, you know, I don't know how do you say, but is uh, la almohadilla para el para el audífono, para el manos libres. Oh. Yeah, I know what you mean. And you are talking about the. Oh, those are. Pads. Pads. Those are pads. Yes. Pads. Ah, okay, okay. It's uh, uh, very difficult to find because it's a uh, fine. Uh, fine because it's a uh, Voyager Plantonic. It's a special airphone. But oh. I found then it's nice. Well, that's cool. Yes, teacher. And the good thing is that you are enjoying yourself. That's the most important. Save something for the next trip. Remember, you're going back. Yeah, I know. So you have been like mm, restraining yourself. Well, no, not really, teacher. Okay, well, that's nice. The good thing is to, to have fun. That's the most important aspect. Yes, yes, of course, teacher. The, this trip uh, has been very interesting and happy. Then okay. we're okay. We're happy. Cool. Excellent. Thank a you. Little, Welcome to a, the class. A little yes, sad me. because a little sad because the tree finished tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Understandable. Yeah. Welcome, Janira. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so Roxana, how do you feel about Janira traveling and you with a lot of cases? <laughs> I hate them. Yeah, I, know, I, know I helped you. I helped you yesterday, Roxana. Please. Yes, I you know. You're a liar. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> That's because right. You know. Jordan. You know, I help. I help her. Yesterday at night before the class, and when I finished to 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 case, I sent you a message for review, and she told me, "Oh, I review tomorrow." <laughs> yes. She's bad, she, very bad. She was sleeping. She was sleeping at that time. Yes, I need to sleep. I needed to sleep. Yeah, excuses, <laughs> excuses. Hello, Roxana. How are you? How was your day? Well, actually, I'm okay, teacher. It was a good day, productive day. Um, everything was okay in my work. A lot of things to do, but uh, I think that is in order previous to closing. Okay, I hope that's so. Important. This, yeah, I, I think or I hope the closing uh, will be easy. I hope so. I really hope so. Yeah, because I mean, 
Last, last one, I remember you had some problems, right? Yes, because in the company change, changes the uh, bank, but maybe this uh, mount uh, the payment don't, well, no, no, no van a tener problemas. Won't have problems. Won't have problems. I hope so. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Welcome to the class, Roxana. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Who else is around? Do I have time? Yes. Well, let me get the attendance before we move on, guys. Because I always forget. I get excited with the class and I forget about the attendance and then you get mad. Let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Amber. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Natanael Ayala Aristón. Present teacher. Thank you, Marta. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez, Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Calves. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Okay, Fernando's here. Let's see, Wilfredo, how's everything? Could you fix the problem with your computer? Or you connected on the cell phone? I'm trying to get connection, teacher, but it is it is so. I, I don't know what happened with the internet, but I got a hammer. I got a hammer. I can lend you. Yeah, you know, last time I had a problem with my computer, I called Janira and Janira told me he that thing smash it down. Hey, really, teacher, they work giving assistance when we have yeah, she told with me, that. she told me, hit it with a hammer, that's gonna help you. Hey, yeah, right to know course. that. And then hey, she Janira. told me, then she told me, throw it out and buy a new one. <laughs> oh, the man, best yeah. way. She has yeah, a lot of the, money. The best solution, the best solution, she told me. Get a new one. That's going to be easier. Teacher, her advance, it is uh, buy a new computer or yeah. change it. Yeah, get a new one, she told me. Thomas give around. me all there and give me and buy a new. Oh, you see? Um, she, wants, <laughs> she wants the old one and she wants me to buy a new one. That's when, cool. When she come back from US, you're you're going to have a new computer teacher. Yeah, she's buying a she's buying right now. She says hey, she's Black, gonna buy a Mac. Black Friday. Hey, really, Yanira, you have to 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 remember your classmate. <laughs> the Black Friday is in. Uh, it's gonna be too far Friday. gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's still a lot from now. How long are you going to be there? 
I don't She's have coming friends. tomorrow. Sorry. She's coming tomorrow. Oh. So, Wilfredo, how's everything? How was your day? Everything cool? Um, it is um, also not so good, teacher, because we, we are we are preparing for the inventory. We have we have it every year. Some uh, two weeks ago, the last level, you you told me another way to say every year, teacher. Every year, todos los años, yearly. Yeah. Yearly, yearly. Yearly, yes. Uh, um, yearly on October and the last week, we make an inventory in my company. Then oh. we have to we have to do many many things. Maybe I I guess that we we are going to finish on Saturday at night. I guess. Well, let's hope so. Yes, Doing inventory is. is terrible. Yes. But now, teacher, in my company, um, it is it is so easy because um, many things um, could be could be making or, or this activity uh, some etchas are done or are performed. Yes. Are done. Are done. Are done in, in system, but to do it, we have to, we have to to make. Um, we have to 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 do many things to get to get a good inventory in, in the system. Always, yeah. always we have to we have to account many dozen finishing or in good good good. Al corte que se tiene para coser se le, se le conoce oh así. Good, good. You, yeah, I know what you mean. So you have to even count that? Yes. Piece by That's piece. That's crazy. Piece by piece? Yes. And do you imagine that how many dozen we, we handle in my company? If we yeah, cheat man. every and week. You, you cut, you cut like, like piles. Yes. Right? Cuando cortan son pilas completas, right? Yes, around um, thousand and thousand dozen every yeah, hour. That's that's crazy. Yes. Man. Well, that's but the nature of the is, job. It is hazard occupational teacher. Yeah, I mean, but it is. It is a, a different week for us yeah. because yeah, we make different activities. Then we, we relax uh, Saturday uh, in the afternoon. Sometimes we go to Cuatepeca Lake uh, to, to, to have lunch. Yeah, Sometimes we can drink some beer with the coworker when we finish. Okay. Nice. Yes, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, let's have a small conversation working in groups. Welcome, everyone. Let's have a small okay. conversation working in groups. Okay. So we can warm up, guys. Everybody, listen up and read. If your house caught fire, what three things would you say before running outside? Let's see. What three things, three things you would say before running outside? You will mention three things and why would you say that stuff, okay? So if your house caught fire, what three things would you say before running outside? That's the question for the first activity. Let me get it for you. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, guys, you got it right now in the group, the question. Let me get the groups working. 
Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. You're going to be working in pairs. That's a three minutes question. Yes. Sí. Ah, ya, yeah. I, I remember. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, Sandra will save her French fries. No. I didn't eat a, fr a French fry. I didn't eat. I, I, I didn't eat French fries. Yeah, you know, Nathanael, she's got no. an addiction. She's addicted to French fries. Yeah. I have a bag in the congelador. Freezer? Uh, the freezer. The freezer. Because my granny fed me. <laughs> Um, sorry. No me gusta, Nicolás. Why not? Oh, really? I dislike it. No, Why sorry? not? Why not? No, so teacher. No, no, I hate. Seriously, oh, I yeah, need. Yeah, I... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you decided I... to sign up. Do you remember? Nobody pushed you. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Do you remember when the but lawyer asked you? I have a solution. You, do you agree? And you said, yes, I do. And you signed yeah, up. Yeah, but I have a solution for that. I will uh, take a, no, I will. Get. Divorce? <laughs> get. Get. Yes. I get a divorce? Yeah, it's just easy. take a song. You still got a son. <laughs> but in general, I think that the adult life is very tired because oh, all yeah. time is yeah. work, 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 work. Well, look, I love but, things to do. But look, uh, Nicolas, how long have you been married? Huh? How many years? Uh, 25 or 26 years. Okay, what about you, Roxana? How long have you been married? Um, currently, I'm separate. How many years? ¿Cuántos años? Uh, I was married. Well, actually, I am married, but I was with uh, my husband around three years maria before before getting married okay how long have you been together i know usted dice de novios no 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 living together oh three years but three years okay three years nicolas got 25. yeah i know no sé cómo le hacen i got 19. I'm Sorry, I got 19. Yeah. I've been married for 19 years. You, teacher? Yeah. 19 years? Yeah. Oh. How, how old were you when you got married, Roxana? Sorry? ¿Cuántos años tenía when you got married? 21, like your, like you, like you, I think. So right now you are 20 what? Now I am 31. And you got married at 21. 
Yes. So you've been married 10 years. Mm, yeah. Sí, algo así. Okay. That's nothing, don't worry. But in general, teacher, I was working, I, I was uh, talking about the life yeah. in general. Work, yeah, life in, uh, no, the thing shows. is this, the thing is this, I mean, when you're single, life is easier. When you decide to become a, a marriage, life gets more complex. But yeah. it's fun, I mean, uh, it's fun, believe me. You will find the good spots. It's just a matter of mm. being patient. Look, when we are, when Nicolas can tell you, when you have been married this long, you realize that there are good and bad years. I mean, yeah. it's not days, yeah. moments. Uh, there are hard years. Years that mean you just work and work and work and there's nothing else but working. But then comes a time when there's a lot of work, but you start enjoying some other activities. That's normal. And that's actually, Roxana, part of the growing up process. And that's I part hate of the, the being a, that's part of being an adult process. Yeah, I know. I mean, don't worry, don't worry. I mean, it's easy. Being an adult is easy. Of course, being being a teenager with no worries, yeah, that's cool. But I mean, perhaps it's not as fulfilling. Because yeah. now you really value what you do and what you get out of life. Yeah. So relax. It's totally you know? different. Yeah, relax. My Look question is. Yeah. <laughs> My question is, in general, adult have has um, crisis existenciales. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. Everybody does. That's normal. I mean, it's okay. it's part of human nature to question yourself. Es parte de la naturaleza humana y cuestionarse a sí mismo. That's normal. Okay. So don't worry. I mean, it's fun. Look, Nicolas, look well, the way Nicolas got his wall. Vea como tiene su pared. Exactly like, uh, like 15, 16 years ago, he had the same problem. Hace 15, 16 años tenía el mismo problema. El mismo hijo le tenía decorada la pared. Just that, at that time, we're just drawings. <laughs> yes. yes. And, and I am sure he enjoys this as he enjoyed that. So it's cool. Okay, I get it. I try to enjoy the process, I guess. Look, life never becomes easier. La vida nunca se vuelve más fácil. Uh, the way we see it and the way we face it is the one that needs to be changed. La manera como la vemos y la manera como la enfrentamos es lo que hay que cambiar. As simple as that. Okay. And that's going to help you. So don't worry, I mean... How old is your kid? Nine years. Oh, my dear. That's fun at that time. Oh, I know. It is stressful. <laughs> no, that's fun. In, in between five, six years more, he won't even look at you. I know. Cinco, ocho años, me va a querer hacer casa. And you're going to be after him like, hey, my dear. And he's going to be like, yeah, whatever. It's normal. Okay. See you guys. See you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh. Yeah, where are you? Sylvia, yeah. Sylvia. I know. Mm -hmm. where, I, where, where, where I live? We have never had a tsunami here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid of tsunamis. Hmm. That's Very kind of a morbid conversation, guys. <laughs> Teacher, we were talking about the third, the third thing that could be do. Mm -hmm. And Sylvia told me that the third thing, she takes her back 
and her and her money. Um, yeah, that always comes handy. <laughs> yes. She then, doesn't have kills, Wilfredo. She doesn't have yes. kills. In your case, you get <laughs> your kills first. Yes. My pet but... teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My two dogs, yeah, but... I love them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when you got kids and family, I mean, the first thing you do is kick your family out, right? We yes, yes. But I was told, I was, we were talking that for the earthquake around 2001, 20, yeah. because <gasps> I remember that my wife and my sister go out, but my, my oldest kids was in the bed. And I told them, hey, what about Edwin? Hey, they come back to um, That's for, crazy. for him. Yes. But it was... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Nathanael, tell me, what would be the very, the very first three things that you would take out if there was a fire in your house? Uh, teacher, uh, I, I don't know if I think that, the, the, the thing that uh, I need to go with me, but probably I think that um, uh, the wallet, um, probably the cell phone, um, and I don't know if I think that another another thing that probably the computer and the, uh, for okay. my work. Yeah, and, yeah you and, got your priorities, right? Yeah, only in my car. I am thinking, I am thinking about taking out my wife, but I'm not sure about that. I'm still analyzing. I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's see, let's see. Thank you, Nathanael. What about yeah. you, Fernando? Oh, in the case teacher, I, I think that uh, the three things that I I say, I will say is uh, my wallet with my document and my, and my car, so my money and my cell phone because communication, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's important. It, it's important and my, my laptop, and my work laptop and my personal laptop that is it possible okay excellent thank you you're welcome jose jose osorio tell me if your house caught fire what would you take out uh, hi teacher in my case uh, i think uh, um, I will take my cell phone, my money, and my documents and some photos of my family. Oh, cool. Interesting. Thank you. Okay, let's see. What about you, Lucero? If your house caught fire, what would you take out? Hello, teacher. I was talking, eh, but I no me había fijado que no tenía encendido el micrófono. Oh, okay, yeah, that happens. <laughs> that happens. Okay, do you refer in that question eh, about, okay. about material things? Yes, or, material or... stuff. Material stuff. Okay, okay. In that case, uh, the first things I I I catch it will be okay. um, I I take enough money because the money is more important and also I I guess uh, I guess to catch to catch um, my documents. Uh, because it's very difficult to renovate and in the other matters, I, I catch 
my dress, my clothes, okay. my clothes. Um, um, and I imagine I I run very very fast. Yeah, and I and I will and I will. And I will ask for ask for help uh, of the other people. Okay, excellent. Thank and you. this is my opinion about question. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's see, Ambar, what about you? Tell me. If your house caught fire, what would be the three things that you would take out with you? In my case, I take my glasses my documents and my cell phone. Perfect, very specific. You got your yes. priorities well set. That's cool. Yeah, and my glasses, me too. <laughs> I mean, I will suffer without the glasses. They are so Thank important to me. Yeah, Thank of you. course, they are for me too. <laughs> Excellent, yes. great, Ambar. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Francisco. And in your case, tell me. No teacher. If your house caught fire, tell me what will be the first three things that you will take out with yourself. Okay, teacher. Uh, I, I talk with uh, Marta. Uh, in my case, I take uh, my two pets, my cell phone, and my wallet. Okay. That's. That's nice, your two pets, your cell phone and your wallet. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, you got and you got the things that you really, really appreciate, like in that order, or not appreciate, but you need. Right? Teacher, uh, could you repeat me, please? The last. No, it's just I am mentioning that you got very clear the the things that you appreciate and need. Okay, yes, teacher, yes. Excellent, thank you. Now, let's see, Janita, I got a different type of question for you. Okay. Okay, Janita, tell me, if you, I was wondering this, if you had to, if you had to spend what would you do? I'm sorry, the question is this. Let me just read it because I had it here written. Okay. Uh, what would you do if you have to spend four days without a cell phone and nor a computer? Teacher, what do you pay me in this situation? I can live in this situation. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, I don't know, teacher. My life is my, in my cell phone, and the backup is in my computer. Uh, the first, the first thing that I do, uh, I buy a new, a new cell phone and download the backup in my new cell phone and get again all my information this is the first step in the first time that my old cell phone was broke okay but now the question janita is there's no option you cannot get one neither <laughs> no i thinking i thinking very fast okay let's do that in the groups the question is this, what would you do if you have to spend one week without a cell phone or a computer? Okay, guys, again, three minutes. Let's go back into the groups, okay? Please jump in.
Francisco. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. And so what would you do? What would you do, Francisco, if you had to spend one week with no cell phone or computer? What uh, I do? <laughs> what would you do, Karia? If uh, there are not cell phones, no computer. Yes. It's a very difficult issue. <laughs> it's a, in, in this in this moment, I think it's very difficult because uh, all all things uh, in in my life, uh, teacher. How do you say involucran? Involve. Involve. Okay. Uh, Many things in my life involve this equipment. The the cell phone or computer is very computer. My work, uh, all of the almost operation running in computer. Okay, but uh, it's just one week. <laughs> Still very hard for you. Yes, teacher. It's very mm. well, see if you if I uh, stay on vacation, uh, I think I, I live without computer. <laughs> but but no without cell phone. It's very difficult. Oh, interesting. Well, ask, ask Nathanael, what about him? Uh, when was the last time that I, I watched TV? So I think that if I didn't have a cell phone or computer, maybe I, I will... Uh, to exercise and watch TV, I don't know. Maybe oh, yeah. I, I will uh, cook something. And you? Yeah, me. <laughs> I told to Walter that I don't remember when was the last time that I see, uh, I, that I watch uh, TV because uh, in my free time, usually I just take a rest or uh, hanging out with my best friend, but I usually don't watch TV or listen to music. Just, uh, I don't know, to whatever. <laughs> Maybe if I if I don't have if I didn't have a uh, myself need to get a life. you need to get a life. Yeah, teacher, I know. I want to entend existenciales. <laughs> look, I know that Walter will go out with his friends to play soccer, have yeah, fun teacher, with the yeah. family, play with his uh, kids. And practice the exercise in jeans. I'm busy with my family, my sister, and the busy with my friend, and the different Seriously? activities. Yeah, I have a bored life, bored day, days. I don't know. I know that I need to change something, and if I will uh, change uh, in a short uh, time. I would like to come back to the gym, but I don't mm. have time now. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. It, it, yeah, it, it's complex, but uh, I don't know. Maybe if I didn't have a, I don't know. If I have, if if si yo tuviera tiempo, if I si si yo tuviera tiempo, if I have. 
If I have. If I have. If I have time, I have, will have. In have. Past. If I if I have, have time. If I have time, I would like to come back to the gym. To go back. To go back, yeah. Yeah, having free time must be cool. Answer bonito, <laughs> Yeah, it's not our case, but I I think I, I imagine it, it must be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you you can uh, you can understand me now. Yeah, but still, I think I have more fun than you can. Yeah, you have a lot of work and you have less time by yourself than me. Yeah, and I still have fun. I know, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I go to the gym. Well, these two weeks I haven't gone because I have a flu. I like to go to the mm -hmm. gym. I love reading. I watch, I watch a little bit of TV before going to sleep. And I try to help around the house. And I work a lot. So, put in order your, your stuff, Roxana. Yeah. Okay, let's see everybody's coming back in a few seconds, I imagine, yes, in five seconds. Okay, let's see, let's start with uh, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. Yeah. Okay, Sylvia. I'm just fine. Thank you very much. Now tell me, what would you do if imagine that you had to be one week with no cell phone, no computer? Mm, it would be it would be very hard for me, but I would survive. One week okay. would be okay. Because I I could um i could invest my time on reading books spending time with my family going somewhere and i would be all day um, like looking something to do well that's interesting that's a good attitude i wonder if you could do it you are a different generation. Your generation depends a lot of computers and gadgets and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but you got options. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Sylvia. Appreciate it. Okay. Welcome. Let's see. What about you, Claudia? In my game, the computer teacher. Okay. What? What would you do if you didn't have a computer nor a cell phone for one week? Oops, I think we lost you. Claudia. The connection is giving us problems. 
Fernando, what about you, Fernando? Tell me. Hi, teacher. Okay, uh, Fernando, one week, no computer, no cell phone. What would you do? Oh, I would take vacation, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a good idea for me because every day I, I finish my day tired about cell phone, about computer. All along day, I have uh, the computer in front of me and my cell phone ringing every time. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So, do you think it is possible for you to spend one week with no non gadgets? Yeah, yeah, I, I would say a, a vacation on, on the lake, and I will read my book. And I don't know, I will relax. Oh, yeah, you live close to the lake, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 10 minutes of the lake. 10 minutes from your house. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, excellent. It's a good idea for me. I need it. I need it one. Okay. Week with, you know? <laughs> actually, actually, you are craving for the opportunity. Yes. You are craving. Maybe. Yeah, do you know do you know the idea that I express with craving? Craving um no. when I tell you that you're craving Antoja. for the opportunity. Uh, in English, there's another word that expresses the same idea. It's journey. Anelando. Is that oh. Anelando. Craving or journey. Craving or journey. Oh, okay. That's new for me. Thank you, teacher. Hey, you're welcome. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we go back to you, Janita. Tell me. Five days, just five days, no computer and no cell phone, Janita. What would you do? Well, teacher, um, my partner was Sylvia, and we talked about that. Uh, she was very convinced, com convincing, 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 and she was a good point. And she made she made a good point. She make she make a made a good point with D. Yeah. Okay. She made a, a good point because I. I can survive with my cell phone and without uh, my computer. I, uh -huh. I don't like thinking in that, but I can I can survive without. I can survive. So, I can survive survive with both. And if this how this situation happens. Uh, I have time for for spend with my family, with my pets, and do doing uh, thing that in normal time I I can't or I I don't do it. Do you think that in normal time I wouldn't do? Not normal. Time. I couldn't do. Yeah, normal. Yeah. Normal or regular. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you to you. Okay, guys. Next activity. Now we are going to work in the manual. In the manual, we have here in page number 29. You need three building vocabulary. The terms in the chart describe the steps of a production process for a shampoo. Match the steps to their corresponding tasks. Compare answers with a partner. We have mix, quality control, filter, capping, labeling, packing. After the batch is approved, the shampoo is poured into, in the right amount into the empty bottles. The conveyor belt takes the bottles to the machine where the labels with ingredients and the brand name is 
talk to them, talk from them. The bottles are moved to another machine that puts a cap on every bottle and twists them tight. All the raw materials are put in a bash and mixed. The bottles are put into boxes and are ready to be sent to the stores. A sample is sent to be analyzed to ensure it meets specifications. Okay, the activity, do the pairing, okay? You will have a couple of minutes to do this. Let me send you the picture. You're going to be working again in pairs. For doing the exercise. But before we do the exercise, before we do the exercise, guys, let me please get the attendance one more time, okay? Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala de Estondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Okay, guys, let's do the exercise. Groups are created. Let me just do a little fixing here. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in.
the inward scripture in the group. My friend, you alone? Yes, dear. Sorry, sorry, I'll send you to another group, okay? Okay, teacher, no problem. Etiquetado. Ladies, finish. No, teacher. Okay. I I paint. Uh, we we paint. Uh, the uh, number three forty five. Um, I don't know is capping is uh, a yes, the models are moved to another machine that puts a cap on every bottle at, and twist them tight. I'm not sure. Or in labeling, maybe the conveyor belt takes the bottles to the machines where the labels with the ingredients and the brand name is stuck on them. Okay, let's see. We are in page number 21, 29, exercise six. Okay, the order is number three, number five, mm -hmm. number four, Yes. Number one. Yes. Number six. Yes. And you got the last one, right? You got it like that, Two. Amber? Sorry? That's the order you got? Yes, the share is correct. Yes. Okay, then you're good, ladies. You're good. Let me just go check on the rest of the groups, how they are doing, okay? Okay, teacher. Course number eight, I think. The teacher, the teacher is here, so it's... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> then Nathanael asked me what, uh, what number of courses stay here. I'm sorry? What's what, the what number? What numbers? Cuántos cursos o cuántos? Uh, how long? Uh, how, how long to? How long I stay in the course? How long have you been in the courses, Maria? For how long have you been studying in these courses? I've been with you I, four levels or three. It's number two. Um, four. Four levels with you. Oh my gosh! Jesus. Yes, four. <laughs> <laughs> so that means three, four, like five months. Wow. Yes. <laughs> it's a half of a year, teacher, with Maria. Mm. Yeah, you know, actually, that's not quite common in these courses. Usually, they switch us. Normalmente no intercambian. Yeah. But with with this group. They got me level after level with the same people, you know. I wonder why. There's no explanation. Okay. It's more <laughs> for you because you you have um, uh, some some of, um, more confidence and uh, more information from the students and my friend you don't imagine how crazy it is to prepare a class i mean i run out of ideas i think about new ideas new exercises new exercises yeah. 
Really? Because yeah. otherwise, yes, otherwise, if I continue, imagine you doing this, if I continue doing the exercises that I did in the first class up to now, Maria will be like this, bored, asleep. <laughs> Yes, the teacher had a lot of different exercises than like the other in this, person. In this level, Nathanael, we've been doing the exercise, the exercise that I give you questions, short questions, and you ask an answer. Okay, that activity we have done just in this level. It's the first time we do it like that. Yes, in this level, um, I think that I don't have a lot of conversations. No, not too many. Uh -huh. Mostly the, the conversation have been like this. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. So, I mean, every but level, it's yeah, every level we have to look for different activities so they don't get bored. Otherwise, Maria will be like, you know. <laughs> really? <laughs> she will be like, ah. Uh... And when no, I call her please. Maria, she will be like, what? What? <laughs> No, um, today don't turn off my camera because I take a pills, relax pills. Relaxing. Relaxing, relaxing pills. And, and you know what's the worst thing, Nathanael? That I, I am not sure if I met, uh, well, I am sure that I met her many years ago when she was in high school. <laughs> When you stay in the when you stay in the high school, I use a bracket. <laughs> really? I, I met her at that time. Ahí la conocí. Wow. But the wow. teacher I... no me reconoció. Oh. And I remember her classmates. That's funny. Wow. It's a long time. It's a um, makes me feel so old. Me hace sentir tan viejo. I'm out of here. See you in the, in the main room, guys. <laughs>
That's number two. Excellent, great. Now let's see number three, Francisco. Number three is yours. Uh, I think is uh, after the batch is approved, the shampoo is poured in the right amount into the empty bowl. Okay, perfect. Excellent, Francisco. Thank you. Jose, Jose, you got capping. What is capping? Capping is the bottles are moved to another machine that puts a cap on every bottle and twists them tight. Okay, perfect. That's number four, Kathy. Now let's see number five. Lucero, number five. Okay, teacher. Loving. Number five is the conveyor belt takes the bottles to the machine where the labels with ingredients and the brand name is stuck on them. Labels, labels. Labels. Thank you. Maria Alejandra, please read number six, packing. Packing. The bottles are poured into boxes and are ready to be sent to the store. Perfect, so that means that this is number six. Okay, guys, any question about the vocabulary? For example, batch. El paquete, el grupo, el, uh, el lote. Teacher. Yes. Capping. Capping. Yes. Yes. Poner el tapón. Another one. The conveyor. The conveyor. conveyor. Oh, the conveyor belt. Es una paja. ¿Cómo le llamamos a eso, guys? Jose Wilfredo, tell me in Spanish, conveyor belt. No, you don't have it in your company, right? La faja transportadora, no. Yeah, exactly, that. That's a conveyor belt. Is there a mix? Mix, mezclar. Mix specification. Oh, mix specification. Okay, we are talking about... A sample is sent to be analyzed to ensure it meets, alcanza, logra. In this context, that's the idea, alcanza or logra, meets specification, okay? Okay, guys, let's move on. Next activity, again, building vocabulary. You have to match the terms related to assembly processes to their corresponding meanings. We have here, well, screw, tighten, I'll just a screw. And we got to move an object slightly so that it is in the right place or if it fits better to turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned anymore, to join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edges come together, a pointed piece of metal with a twisted part on it called thread. Instead of heating with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. And to attach one surface to another using a screw. Okay, what are you going to do? Exactly the same exercise, pairing, okay? That's the name of the exercise, pairing. Let me get you the picture so you can have it also there. Okie dokie, you got it. Let me send you to the groups. And hurry up.
sorry, I can't understand you. I don't listen. You finished, guys? No, teacher. Oops. Adjust is ajustar. Yes. Tutor, tutor. attach one surface to another using a swirl. Sí. Number four. To move an object slightly, slightly, so that slide, slightly, 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 to move a, an object slightly, 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 to move an object slightly, so that okay, it, Roxana, stop. Listen. Okay. Slightly. Slightly. Yes, like that. Slightly. Slightly. Like that, Roxana. Perfect. Slightly. Okay. To move an object slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better. It's number okay, that's four, four, right? Yes. And number five, a screw to turn an object or a screw until it's tight and it cannot be turned away anymore. A screw, number five. Okay. Yes. A screw, a pointed piece of metal with a twisted part on it called thread. That's Instead of hitting true. with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. That's a screw. Okay. Entonces, we think that uh, it was a number one. <laughs> no. The order, well, I have the well, order like this. Okay, what order you got? Four, two, one, five, three. Okay, three and two, no. you gotta switch them. Four, three, one, five, two. Got it? Okay, yes, got it. Let's just wait for everybody to be back. See, everybody's coming back in a few seconds. Yeah, now. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see how do we do on this. Let me see. Okay, Martha, number one, well, what is the well? 
Uh, I'm not sure, but I think so is to join to piece of metal or plastic by hearing. So the end come together. Okay. Listen to the pronunciation, Marta. Okay. To join two pieces, pieces of metal I'm sorry. or plastic okay. by heating, so the edges come together. Yes, that's number one. Excellent, Marta. Thank you, teacher. Nathanael, number two. Um, I know sure, teacher, but because I two 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 words is screw screw and I screw and number two. Okay, number three. in this one, in number two, this is the verb. Number five is an object. Ah, okay. Okay, I, I the action. Okay, sorry. number two is the action. Okay, to attach one surface to another using a screw. Exactly, perfect. To attach one surface to another using a screw. Excellent, well done. Let's see, let's see who's next. Uh, Nicolas, number three, Titan. Nicolas, you here? Okay, let's see. Roxana, help us with number three, Titan. Number three is <laughs> to turn an object has a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned anymore. Okay, exactly. Tighten. Apretar. Tocar. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Roxana. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Walter, number four. I'll just. Um. To move an object and a slightly so that it is in the right place or it feels better. Okay, perfect. That's number four. Adjust. Now, number five. Let's see. Number five is a screw. Please, Janita, read it for us. That one goes right here, right? A point can be a piece of metal that is the part on its color sheet. Instead of either with a hammer, you punch and screw in order to fasten pieces of metal or glue together. Okay, very well. Listen again to the pronunciation. I will read them all of them. Number one, well, to join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edges come together. So that screw, remember, this is the action, atornillar, to attach one surface to another using a screw. Tighten, to turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned anymore. Number four, adjust to move an object slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better. And number five, adjust. I'm sorry, number five, a screw. A pointed piece of metal with a twisted part on it called thread. Instead of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wool together. Very well done, guys. 
Now let's see, let me stop this. Okay, very well done. Now, any question about the vocabulary in that exercise? Yes, teacher. Tell me. Good, good is madera. Yes. And fast and feast. Uh, uh, let's see. Order to fast and feast in her madera. Oh, fast and. Fast and pieces. <laughs> Yeah, but yes. what you're what you're asking is exactly the verb fasten, right? Sujetar. Sujetar piezas de metal y madera, siempre. O fijar. Thanks, teacher. No problem. Any other question, guys? Yes, teacher. It's um, likely. It's likely. Levemente. Tense. Levemente. Tense, teacher. Okay, no problem. Let's see. Fernando, where are you, Fernando? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Fernando, I got an interesting question for you. Tell me, in your opinion, what is a good job? Uh, in my opinion, a good job is in, I don't know, uh, acciones, no sé cómo se dice actions. Actions? Uh, okay, actions. Actions, uh, acciones de una compañía. A good job. What is a good job for you? ¿Cuál es un buen trabajo para usted? Yeah, that's it's a, good, a good job to me. Uh, investment in action of in a, oh. for a good company. It's a, okay. it will be trader, I think. Okay. That okay. is a good job, job for me. Person. Yeah, it's okay. a, it's a job uh, where people have people have to do an analysis of of the graph and buy and sell action. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Ambar, what is a good job for you? Tell me. Mm, a good job for me? Yep. Mm, maybe um, a job of seller with uh, good commissions. Okay. For you, that's a good job. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Nathanael, what is your opinion? What's a good job for you? Uh, what would you consider a good job to be? For example, would you manage or um, a good um, um, technology, uh, like uh, um, something that um, blockchain or another? Um, in this in this uh, um, situation because um, this um, this activity is uh, good pay in, in this moment okay perfect Jose tell me Jose what is a good job in your opinion hi teacher uh, a good job for me is one uh, where I feel comfortable with what I do okay. and that what I, I feel uh, conformity. Mm. Satisfied? Uh -huh, that I feel satisfied with what I earn. Okay. A salary. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Roxana, what will be a good job for you? Well, in my case, I 
thing that a good job for me is one with um um I don't know, a big salary maybe, and one that gave me um, the, the hey, horario justo, no sé cómo, schedule, a but fair, a fair, a fair schedule. schedule, schedule, a fair, a fair, yeah, a fair a schedule, and I don't know. That's it. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Susana, what would be a good job for you? Tell me. Yeah, in my opinion, um, a good job um, is a the better salary or salary better. Okay. Okay, one with a good salary. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. And what do you think about it, Nicolas? What is a good job for you? Well, uh, a good job for me is, it is where you have fun, you relax, you know something new, something new, you are not pressured to do something and you do everything uh, no that's all okay perfect nice and interesting point of view excellent nicolas Thanks. francisco what about you what do you think what what is a good job for you what is your on your opinion Uh, well, uh, I think for me it's a, a job that uh, uh, in, I can, uh, a teacher, how do you say crecer, pero refiriéndose, bueno, no sé si sería la misma palabra. Grow, yes, grow. Grow, grow with the company. Oh. Good. Interesting. Okay, guys. Now, for tomorrow, I need in five lines, please, but please do me that homework because the, the other homework, just five persons turn it in. For tomorrow, in five lines, please explain to me what is a good job for you. Please write it down. Okay. That's for tomorrow. Let me get the attendance one last time time before I send you on your way because it's time actually. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satirio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Okay, guys. Thank you very much.
I expect to see you, all of you, tomorrow in my class. Have a good night. Take good care. night, everybody. Good night. night. Work in the platform. Work good in night. the platform. Good night. Good night. Hello, William. Hi, teacher. How are you? Very well. Thank you. I am just fine. Thank you. Tell me, do you? Oh, yeah, you use a computer, right? Tell me, tell me. You use a computer, right? Yes. Okay, yes. y para la plataforma también utilizo una computadora. Always. Okay, perfect. Let me share the screen. Déjame compartirla entonces. Okay. Quiero que en la plataforma usted le aparezca esto sí, ¿verdad? Se venga acá abajo donde dice centro de ayuda. You click on it. Again, just scroll down, so you nuevamente abajo, and you come to grammar, okay? In grammar, le aparece basic grammar presentation, intermediate grammar presentations, and advanced grammar presentations. In this section, in esta section, I need you to please work. Necesito que me trabaje en dos. One is phrasal verbs, y el otro es uh, 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 present perfect. O sea, que necesito que me trabaje en el número 4 y el número 6. Number 4 and number 6. ¿No se le olvida cómo llegar hasta acá? No, no, teacher. Ok, number 4 and number 6. Look, I am suggesting you this because it's according to what I have been observing in your personal case. Le hago esta mención porque es lo que venido observando en su caso específico. Those, those sections will help you a lot. Esas le van a ayudar muchísimo. Phrasal verbs are awesome. Esos son super interesantes. And they like open up the language. Y como que nos abrieran el lenguaje. So, I recommend them to you. They will help you. By the way, congratulations. You got a very good pronunciation. Por cierto, lo felicito. Tiene muy buena pronunciación. But, yeah, I would like you to work in those grammar aspects, please. Me gustaría que trabajara en esos aspectos gramaticales. Make, make a review of them. Hágales una repasadita. And if you have any question, let me know. Si tiene alguna pregunta, avísame. Possible I could like fit you in another day. Possiblemente podría incluirlo otro día para darle una sesión nuevamente acá si necesita que le haga un seguimiento a algún punto en específico. ¿Le parece? Eh, go on, uh, me parece bien, of course. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, from the previous classes, is there any topic that is giving you problem? De las clases anteriores, ¿hay un tema que como que siente que no quedó claro? No, no. Well, okay. well. Okay, then. I would like to make a review. Le recomiendo, hágame un favor. Denle una revisadita a eso y va a ver cómo le ayuda. Please. Of course, teacher. Thank you, William. Always a pleasure to have you in the class. Siempre un placer tenerlo por acá. Have a good night. Uh, good night, teacher.
well, somebody else connected. See tomorrow, it's going to be another interesting day.